thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to let me join the meeting um, and, and present uh, this information from the little school. So um, just to start, I wanna thank you all and the town so much for your support and your generosity over the years. Um, it's, it's been truly appreciated by you know, all the families um, and the staff and the board members. Unfortunately, this has been a really tough year for the little school, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, we had to close down in mid-March and school was not able to reopen. Uh, we opened summer camp at a 50% capacity. Um, and the only reason we were even able to do that was because we got a PPP loan to cover uh, the staff salaries for that time period. Um, that loan has since been depleted. And in terms of opening the school, we've had to delay our opening until October 19th. We have to, you know, limit some of our normal days and hours uh, due to budgetary constraints and staffing shortages. <laughs> and um, we've had to limit our enrollment due to keeping uh, class sizes smaller to comply with the pre-K guidelines. Um, so enrollment has had to be li limited. Um, so it's been, you know, a, a tough, um, interesting year. And, you know, the little school, um, the board of directors, the staff, the, the director um, is really, you know, determined and, and, and excited to try and continue our um, provision of, you know, essential service of, of childcare, um, of preschool and childcare for, for working families and for the community. Um, but it's, you know, we've, we've just come up against a lot of challenges this year, mainly, you know, due to COVID. And I guess my request, you know, I, I hate to, to even have to ask this because the town is, is so generous, but, you know, if there's any possibility of getting, you know, rent, rent relief for this year, um, you know, ideally it would be like full rent relief for a year, like September to September, but, you know, I don't know if, what, what, you know, your guys' obviously budgetary constraints are. And so if there's, if there's any possibility to have any kind of, um, you know, potential for something for either a, a full or discounted um, rent, rent relief, that would be, you know, wonderful. Mr. Chair? I would, I would come up with this suggestion. I would put the rent on hold until we figure out or the government figures out what they're going to do. They may have some programs coming out where uh, they'll offer up money to pay rent and stuff. I wouldn't be too quick to just say, well, forget it, because the way the government's throwing money around, who knows what's going to happen. There's a lot of programs in the pipeline, and uh, you may get some money for rent uh, down the road. So I would go for suspending the rent until... Uh, things get ironed out and we see where the country is at at a whole. Uh, just to, um, Denny, would you be happy to, to suspend the rent through the end of the year and then uh, we'll readdress it uh, uh, during our budget talks when maybe we have a little more, more clarity about uh, COVID-19 and the school years? I think, have, have you paid anything this year, Kate? Do you know? Since yeah, we've, March? Yes, we've continued to pay rent in full. My, that's what I've been told. My understanding is that we've paid in full up until now. Wow, okay. So we paid March, April, May, June, July, August. As normal. Hmm. So... Uh, Jim, I understand what you're saying, but I'm also beginning to wonder when the taxpayers are going to start to balk at how much money we're throwing into this little school. Uh, we're talking about a generator system that's going to cost well into thousands of dollars. And then you go suspend or forgiven the rent and other things. I know a lot of people like the little school and what it does, but there's other people that pay taxes and they are, uh, questioning some of the money being spent there. So it's a catch-22 situation. And you hear on the news all the time that the government's got money out there. So I was hoping that uh, if we just suspended that 
that uh, somebody might find some money someplace out there. But well, Jenny, Jenny, the generator is for us too. It's shared, so I don't think that can be equated. And um, so, I mean, I, I, I think that's apples and oranges. I think that we're going to benefit from the generator as well. Um, so well, I, I don't think that should be figured in as part of this contingent. It's a generator for both of us and for the good of the town too. Um, well, yeah, I have a question. I, I'm just, I'm sorry, go ahead, Tim. Um, in the first place, Kate, I think you people run a wonderful institution there and there probably are some people who are, who are, are voicing skepticism at the money the town uh, supports the little school, uh, but there are a lot that feel it's very important to Weston as well. Thank you. Um, I do wonder, um, I, I did just a, a quick Google, I don't know, yesterday or the day before, and it did appear to me that there, there are, are monies available for, for child care. Now, is there a potential of that for the little school or not? So the COVID relief grants that were released, um, or the applications that were released a couple weeks ago, are, you, you have to be open by September 8th. And we are not able to be open by September 8th due to staffing shortages. So we are not eligible for those particular grants. We do have, we've requested a meeting with the Stratton Foundation. Um, we're trying to work with some other found, you know, local foundations to get some grants. Um, you know, unfortunately, most of our fundraisers, you know, our big fundraiser last year had to be canceled and most of our fundraising events this year are going to be canceled. Like the proof fair is already canceled. Christmas in Weston is already canceled. I assume our black play ball is going to be, you know, virtual this year. Um, we are running our annual appeal, but that's kind of like our, our sort of one major fundraiser. So yes, we definitely are exploring other, you know, opportunities. Um, but we are not eligible for, I think, I think those, that could be unfortunately. And you are paid through July now? For rent? Yeah. I think we should be paid through August. Oh, through August? Yeah, I've been told, I mean, I've been told that we've, you know, been paying rent as normal. I kind oh of God. like Jim's proposal in that for the four months to see how things settle, to settle out considering you've been paying when a lot of people haven't, I would, I'd be okay with that. Would you second that, Annie? I'll second that motion. Was it a motion? So Tim made the, or Jim made the motion? We uh, my motion is uh, to suspend rent through the end of the year uh, and with the idea that we will readdress the issue uh, at the beginning of the year. And that's just to, to put some hard edges on, on Denny's suggestion that we suspend it until, you know, the, the, uh, we see if the little school is able to raise any other, um, any other, uh, funds or government assistance. But it seems to me that they having, they're having paid through August, um, that's a that's a huge step on their part, and you know, giving them four months of rent uh, and then readdressing it, uh, it, it just seems like a you know a a, a, a uh, plan that that has some substance that that has some a start and an end to it, and and uh, works with with Denny's um, suggestion. I second that emotion, that motion. <laughs> emotion. I have a question for Kate. Yes. Uh, you said staffing shortages. Where did all your help go? Um, uh, a couple different places. Um, we have one, you know, one teacher who had a baby. Um, we have one person out in maternity leave right now who is coming back. Um, we have one woman who got another job. Um, 
we have two staff members that are returning but are struggling with childcare, <laughs> as we all are. Um, and then we have one person, I think, who just who, who just decided I don't to not return, and I don't know the reason. Okay. Anybody else got any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so that's the way it is.